Who wants a free laptop? What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you could possibly go about attaining a free laptop. Yes, I said free. And yes, this could be you. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So I had a fan of the Technology G Facebook page send me this message. And if you are not a fan of the page, I suggest you go become a fan of the page immediately, along with hitting the like, share and subscribe button on this channel. But anyways, the message came in. It says, hey, any suggestions how to get a free laptop ASAP for school and employment purposes besides enrolling in an online free college? So we're going to go ahead and address this question real quick in case you out there were wondering the same thing. Now, before we get started, I was able to find this information on a website called Dollar Sprout. It was written by a woman named Annette Miller, and the title of her article is called How to Get a Free Laptop from Colleges, the Government, and More. So I'm going to take the points on that article, and we're going to talk about how you can get a free laptop right now, assuming you qualify. All right, the first place you can go to try to see if you can get yourself a free laptop is by visiting a website called benefits.gov. This is a site designed to connect citizens with government assistance. This includes free computers, but also encompasses information from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP, or some refer to it as food stamps. But you can look at those resources and you can get information about that, along with job training and information pertaining to Medicaid. And you can also use their benefits lookup tool to see if you qualify. So if you type in your search bar or your URL, you type in benefits.gov forward slash benefit dash finder. It's going to take you to this web page right here. And as you can see, you just simply fill out the questionnaire and you'll be on your way to figuring out if you can qualify for a free computer in addition to some other benefits. So check that website out. The next option is the Onnit Foundation. So the Onnit, which stands for Opportunities Necessary to Increase Technology Foundation. It helps low income families with elementary age students by providing free computers, computer training and Internet access. Kids will qualify for the program if they qualify for free or reduced lunches at their public school. The organization is funded in part via their discounted computer program, which sells refurbished Microsoft computers starting at ninety nine dollars, including a warranty. So if you visit the on it foundation dot org, this is where you will go to attain all the information you need to figure out how you can get a free computer or a heavily discounted computer. So the onitfoundation.org. Your next option is called Computers with Causes. So Computer with Causes is a nonprofit organization that contributes to institutional programs and individuals with, quote, nowhere else to turn. According to their website, you are a particularly good candidate or applicant for this program if you are a veteran or you are the head of a foster home. The application is just a few questions, but they do select applicants using a thorough assessment of needs, background checks, and they do make reference calls. If you visit computerswithcauses.org, forward slash application dot htm it'll take you to this web page right here and from here you can proceed to go about the business of submitting all of your information to see if you qualify for a free computer your next option is the alliance for technology refurbishing and reuse or it's also known as the atrr but this is basically a network of nonprofits 
associated with a broad educational mission. They refurbish and distribute computers as a low cost or free service to those in need. With locations across the U.S., you can find the nearest location to you online. Select the pin closest to you to find out more information on your local, quote unquote, reuse coordinator. So because they are a conglomerate of individual nonprofits, their site says that, quote, member organizations vary widely in size, organizational model, population served and related sources. If you visit AFTRR.org forward slash map dash locator. This will be the map that pops up. You just type in your information and find the nearest organization to you to see how you can get a free or low cost laptop. Your next option is an organization called Everyone On. So Everyone On is a nonprofit on a mission to support social and economic development by helping communities access the Internet. By 2020, they project to help over one million people find low cost computers and or get online. So you simply punch in your zip code and answer a few questions about your eligibility. This application process is brief compared to some organizations on this list. But according to their site, computers are approximately one hundred and fifty dollars. So you visit the website, everyone on dot org forward slash programs, and it'll take you to this page right here. And from here, you can proceed to go about getting all of the information that you need to try to help you get a low cost uh, laptop. <laughs> I was about to say website, but I meant to say laptop. Now, some other options you can try are going to your local computer shop. So while this may involve taking a hike to check out inventory at a brick and mortar store, the deals you find could be worth it. So try searching the term buy recycled computers near me. And you may be surprised with how many results you find for free laptops. So here are some examples that might pop up. You might have a company pop up called Laptop Liquidators. Computer Outlet Inc., Mr. Computer Services, and Uptech Computer. So just go to Google, type in buy recycled computers near me and see what pops up in your area. Another route you can try is looking for green and upcycling initiatives. So the Center for Environmental Policy and Management, they run a waste reduction and recycling program. Um, some other programs around the country also are involved in waste reduction, recycling and upcycling programs. And basically a computer upcycling program is when volunteers are essentially rewarded a free laptop for helping to refurbish items such as computers and other things out there. An example of one of those organizations is a company called Free Geek. Visit freegeek.org forward slash hour dash work and it will take you to this landing page right here and you can read more about their mission statement and all the great wonderful things that you can do in order to try to secure you a free laptop some other options you can explore are visiting the free section on craigslist you go to craigslist look up your city your state there should be a section in there where people are just giving away stuff for free and you can also check the Facebook marketplace or just, you know, yeah, the Facebook marketplace. I'm currently a part of a Facebook group for my community that I live in. And every time I look in there, there's always somebody in my neighborhood that's giving away free stuff. And one person was giving away a brand new Epson printer. They just had an extra one laying around and they put in the group who wants it. And the first person that replied and went over there and picked it up was who got it. Unfortunately, I didn't see the post till a day later, but that type of stuff happens on Facebook all the time when it comes to people trying to get rid of electronic equipment, either for free 99 or just simply free. So try that option as well. Now, what you want to do, you want to watch out for scams. You want to be weary of sweepstakes or giveaways. And if you do come across some type of sweepstake or giveaway, here's some questions you need to ask. You need to find out exactly what all information are these people looking for? What do you have to do to enter the sweepstake? 
Meaning, do you have to download a program that may have a virus attached to it? Who's sponsoring the sweepstake? How did you hear about the contest? Did it come through in your junk mail? Is the link hosted by a reputable brand or do they have a Facebook page? And does it have a legit web address or does the URL look suspect? So these are some of the things you need to think about when it comes to sweepstakes or some type of giveaway scams where they're telling you you can win a free gizmo of any sort. So keep that in the back of your mind. Also, very important when dealing with Craigslist, you got to be very careful on Craigslist. So some of the things that you want to keep in the back of your mind or in the front of your mind, I should say, is you do not want to give out personal information on Craigslist at all. Always use the Craigslist email relay system when communicating with potential sellers. Always use a public space where you are visible to others especially after dark, if you plan on meeting up with a seller to buy their product and, um, you know, just always just be alert, stay alert, stay alive. But some of the things you want to take notice of when being actively alert is, you know, anyone that's asking you to pay for an item before meeting them, you want to be cautious of that. You want to be cautious of people that use weird or broken, weird English or weird language or broken English, I should say. And you also want to be cautious about the inflexibility about meeting location suggestions. So if you're going to go out there and buy something from somebody, do it in a very public place where it's like a thousand people around just in case anything, you know, just, just be careful with Craigslist. Is all I'm trying to tell you. All right. So that pretty much wraps up this video kind of short and sweet, kind of straight to the point to hopefully help somebody out there attain a free or a very cheap in price laptop. Because in this day and age, if you don't have access to the Internet, you don't have access to some type of computer to get you access to the Internet you are essentially getting left behind in terms of how this economy is steadily moving forward and forward with embracing technology. We already see what's going on now with this uh, pandemic that's running rampant all over the world, especially here in this country. And we see how a lot of people are working from home, a lot of school age children from elementary to high school and even college kids They're now going to school online in some capacity. So you want to be out there. And, you know, basically, if you're living in this country, you're going to have to get access to the Internet or else I don't know how you're going to make it. (laughs) You know, I'm not trying to be funny about it, but I'm just keeping it a buck with you. You're going to have to have access to the Internet to maneuver in this American economy or just as global economy in general. All right. So hopefully these websites, these resources that I have provided to you will help get you uh, on the right path. For those of you who need that help because you can't afford these expensive uh, laptops out here. And that's totally understandable. So do not feel ashamed. Do not feel ashamed. Use whatever resources you can use to help you get access to the Internet. All right. So. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, visit my website, technologyg.com, for more information about the latest and greatest with tech and taking some IT courses to help you get certified. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on the next video. And peace.